Hello, all my nerd friends out there. This is Mr. Chili here, and I just got done reading Deceased War of the Undead Gods, issue 5. And what a crazy issue this was. Action pack. If you want just action and gore, the deceased story is perfect for you, man. And pretty hard for a moment, too. Like, dude, just seeing these characters that we cared about and love pass away and die and get killed in a gruesome way. And, like, damn, Tom Terry just like, I think he takes all his, like, you know, characters he kind of wish, he kind of, not wish, but kind of like he had a chance to kill off in the regular story he writes or do this big moment or do that, or do this. He's free to do whatever he wants in the DC story. He could kill you once, he could have an epic moment with this character, that character, do whatever he wants. This is a free realm, his own universe. So that's what's crazy. He's free to do whatever he wants, I'm tired, in this universe, DC story. And he's creating some crazy stuff, man. Between all this, we got like first we left off with uh Meek C. He's in the picture now, he's in the story. He stopped Ares and Superman, Ar stop Ares causing all this violence in the at the Green Lantern's planet. And the Green Lantern's kind of being chicken, they always they're always scared to act. Uh, they always they all they always think about protecting the universe. Uh, they always said we're there to protect everyone, protect the universe, protect all the planets, but you know, they always think selfishly in a way, like right away. One of the uh, members, Karak, uh, Karak, Karak, his whole planet is uh, getting attacked by the effect of Darkseid and his um, undead army. You know, this, uh, actually, it's the ones controlling him. Uh, I think Embryo or uh, that force is called, I forgot what it's called, that's fighting him and everything. It's, uh, uh, it's a virus. I'm trying, <laughs> I can't find it right here for some reason. That virus is what um, there's a it has its own entity. It's like a strong like Mixie as well. Uh, even Mixie knows about it. The Guardians know about it. Uh, even the Beyond Guardians like the Spectre and uh, Phantom, uh, um, Hera, all these they even know about that. It's so strong they've feared about it because even Mixie went and Superman and the Green Lantern went to go help Karak, uh, Karak um, at to help. Fight Darkseid and his army at the planet. And right away, Darkseid used the mother box. And I guess it was a corrupt mother box. It was so strong, it was able to change Mixie into affected. Mixie, this character is one of the strongest being in the world. He was so cocky, he thought, I, mean, I can do whatever I want, Darkseid. I can turn into a plant, I can turn into a bug, I can turn whatever he wants to. And that cockiness cost him his life. So right away, Dark. Um, Embryo, or you could, I'm just calling Dark Side. This affected Dark Side used the affected Mother Box and basically turned Mixie into effect. And now we had a big old powerful God being that no one could stop. Mixie basically wrecking everything, he destroyed Karlock's planet, um, and took down basically the Green Lantern's core. Basically destroyed the planet, destroyed the battery. The Green Lantern was dying little by little all around the universe that had the ring because the power was gone. He destroyed it. He killed Jon Stewart and Karag, squished him in his hand, and it was sad because he, he was they're protecting each other. Even seeing the Green Lantern code, hopefully he could fight back and then he died in misery. He got squished to death by Mixie. And that's, ugh, that's what sucks. <sighs> Another character gone. More heroes are dying more and more. Um, hopefully, because Spectre couldn't stand by and watch this no more, he was able to power the battery uh, get the battery, channel it, power it back up, help all the other left, all the other survivor Green Lanterns out there get their power back. Um, and he's battling Mixie next, and that's uh, that's awesome. I hope he wins. We need some wins in the <laughs> DC universe and DC stories. No, they're just all getting slaughtered. Lobo is out there. He did some good work, but um, now you see Superman met the affected Supergirl. He's all, whoa, whoa, who are you? You're wearing my symbol. It was just, it was pretty sad too when Superman was showing hope to the people there. Like, we're here to help you, we're going to protect you. And the same um, person wearing his S, his symbol of hope, crashes down and kills them all. That Supergirl, affected Supergirl, and she spread fear. So that now that symbol is spreading fear to everyone. Like, dude, this girl is killing everyone and wearing your symbol. That's not really a symbol of hope no more. So it's like, oh, that hot more, uh, hot ruin moment, you know. And I hope Superman doesn't die again. Because <laughs> that would kind of be suck. Like, uh, John brought him back. Now, if he dies, 
I don't know what happens after when Mixie destroyed the planet and destroying everything. Is uh, Superman's alive? I saw John Stewart and Carl Walker got killed. Um, we'll see who else bites the dust next month. We got three more issues. There's issue we're on issue five, and just it's getting pretty deep. And I hope the other gods get involved with it, man. And um, I wonder somehow they're gonna spread like they could, they, I know this is Tom Taylor's last story. Um, not last story. I mean last uh like story to the deceased universe uh the way they could counter back like say if they somehow someone gets the uh the black lantern ring use it kind of like i remember batman did in a metal comic he was able to use it but he had to be dead someone dead in here will bring it back it'll be cool somehow they brought back batman and used he used that ring to um uh bring back the undead like he did in metal that'd be dope uh, the Black Lantern ring bringing back all the dead superheroes. A lot. Of, he, he has his own army of Dar army of darkness versus Dark Side's army of darkness. That would be dope. That that would be sick. Or they get um somehow bring the other multiverse characters in here. You know, we got like Superboy Prime. There's a lot of OP people in DC universe. Somehow they get some backup from the other universe that like uh Earth Two. Uh um. Uh, who else? I'm trying to name all of like. The Kingdom Come universe, all the other different multiverse, the, all the different multiverses out there. Get some help, get some backup to fight this new god, undead new god army, the dark side bringing, wrecking everybody. And he has like a huge force. He affected, he's destroying so many planets and affecting, dude, just brutal. The Green Lantern Corps can't even fight. They're basically half gone now. Um, let's hope the Spectre survives the fight against Missy. And let's see if the other gods come. Phantom Strange. Um, and we got freaking. Uh, Hera and the other garden, like a little bit of left protectors, but we'll see if uh, Spectre makes them. Maybe they'll bring in the uh, um, anti modder. I mean, the anti modder will do some damage against these. Hope it's not affect the anti modder. I don't know. And wherever they bring help, could also get affected as well. So you got to be careful of that. But interesting story. Love to see stories. Very action. If you want to see a dead Mixie versus the Spectre, check out next week. If you're not reading DCs, I highly recommend. Like I said, it's a basically a relaxing book, not relaxing, but it's kind of like basically if you want to get off the mini core ride of regular comic books like DC and Marvel, you know, uh, you know, the superheroes won't die. You know, the superheroes uh, won't have like weddings or relationships or um, some they'll fight the same villains. Joker faces Batman, Green Goblin versus Spider-Man, some blah, blah, blah. Hardly getting, getting the same routine over and over. But sees so much craziness happened so much death so much um uh pain and loss and you'll get sad i got sad and emotional when alfred's kind of asking damien take him with me uh to help fight this dark side he's just a normal human and all stuff he don't care he just wants to be there and make sure damien survives all this you want to make sure he doesn't leave, lose no more family he lost his whole family he killed everyone that even there's a cure now so he feels so much bad you can feel bad for alfred for that like, dude, I killed my sons. I killed Batman, uh, Tim. Uh, I killed Dick, and he killed them. And they were all like his kids. And he thought clear he's doing mercy, but they were actually if he saved them, and he prisoned them or something, they'll be brought back to life. The the, the virus will be gone for them. Um, so I was like, ah, that's a heartful moment. That's why I say Tom Terry has a lot of good moments in here. But it was awesome. Give me your guys' thoughts on issues five of deceased, the war of the end of God. What you like about it, what you don't like about it, I'd like to hear your comments below. Please comment below. But thank you all for watching again. And Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year as well. Hope you all have a good day and good night. Remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.